Hi, welcome to her tool belt. Thanks for tuning in. I like to make farmhouse signs for the holidays or just for the home with scrap pieces of plywood that aren't really good for anything anymore. Um, this one is leftover siding from my kids' clubhouse, so I'll be glad to get rid of that. The sign I want to make today is for my front porch and it's to go with my Santa sleigh. The great thing is, is it's not Christmas specific, so you can leave it up all winter long. And the backboard will be out of the plywood. I'm going to use the flat side of the back versus um, those siding. And I'm going to cut out words with the scroll saw with some scrap uh, underlayment. It's almost quarter inch plywood. And then I'll use one by twos for the frame. So it'll be a fun little Christmas project. Before I get started painting, I'm going to drill pocket holes around the perimeter. Um, this is half inch plywood, so I'm going to use pocket hole jig on half inch material setting and use one inch screws. And I'll do that around the perimeter and then I'll paint after that. I have a pattern that you can download and print. Or if you have a silhouette cutting machine, you can make a template with vinyl. With the vinyl template, I use the sleigh rides and snowflake shapes. I use the negative space of the hot cocoa words. I placed the snowflake on the bare plywood then painted the plywood with a really light coat of white paint. Start with a super thin coat on the vinyl stencil to reduce leaking in the lines. While the white paint dries, it's time to cut out the wood letters. Start by drilling holes in all of the inside cuts and make those cuts first. Then move to the outside. This helps with the strength of the plywood when you're cutting. One tip for placing vinyl is to make alignment marks before you remove the backing. Then placing it in the correct spot is a breeze. I quickly covered the sign and spray painted the bottom words red.
After the frame is all secured in place, the sleigh ride word arc is glued to the sign.